Yo guys, what's going on? Ruthless Rain here with another video. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Ruthless, another video is out. What's going on? I don't really know what's going on to be honest. I'm just really um, getting back into Pokemon again actively and let's just we're just going to go with it. So, in a cool, cool video today, um, this is Easter 2020. I'm going to go through a local pickup story that only happened yesterday. Um, so there's some boosts, first edition boosters in here. That actually really profited me some really good value and I'll go through that in a sec. And then we're going to different, do a different style of video where I'm going to go through eBay. Um, you know how I talked about how like, I go through eBay and look for deals, look for cool cards and stuff and you know, stuff that I might purchase or I think that's good value. I'm actually going to do that and like go through the, some listings and different searches and talk about it as I go through. Maybe I'll find a deal to buy, who knows. I did get the idea from ZNG Aporium. So um, if you haven't got him on your YouTube, definitely check him out and subscribe. And thank you for the idea. Really cool YouTuber, great videos, very chilled, kind of like myself, I like to think. And um, he's got a hell of a collection and turns over a lot of products, so really good. And he also, unlike me, does a lot of videos, which is good, because I need to get more out. So let's go through, first of all, the boosts of pickups I got. So I was messaging a guy locally um, for some first edition packs, two fossil first edition and a jungle. And I'm happy to say I did get them and they are here, so I'm going to go through them. Um, so basically, we've got a beautiful uh, Flareon here. We have a Zapdos and a Lapras. Beautiful cards. Like those, are, that's a really nice pickup. I do have Fossils. I've already finished the second first edition, but I don't have any Jungle. And I really want to finish off Jungle because Jungle is a beautiful set. I mean, just one of the classics. And also, that Jungle first edition PSA 10s. Even in unlimited, like, wow, big money now, big money. Um, so yeah, just to go how, through, I got these and why it was a really cool deal. So I've been messaging the guy a fair bit, kind of pestering him a bit almost, but not like being a nuisance, but just off, offering a lower amount than he wanted consistently. Um, but it was worth it. So I ended up getting these for $120 each, Australian, Australian. So it's probably about $72, maybe $75 USD. That's for a first edition pack. They are really good prices. So I got those really good, really cheap, first of all. So 120 AD, 72 USD for th each. Um, so that's a really good price for first edition pack, first edition packs if you didn't know. But here's what makes it cool. So the guy told me, oh, they're unweighed and I purchased them un an unweighed. And when you hear that, like, you just got to think like, nah, yeah, whatever. They're weighed, don't worry about it. Let's not go through it. But it turns out the fossil pack is actually heavy. It's about um, 21.15 grams, and I'm pretty sure that's heavy. So, well, it's over 21 grams, so I was pretty stoked with that. So that means that's really worth probably double what it, you know. So, you know, a heavy pack goes for a lot more. Um, so that was a local pickup, only like 10 minutes away from me, so I'm happy with that. That's going in the sealed collection. So we've doubled up on now a couple of these beautiful artworks, and we've picked up a first Flareon. Now I'm just gonna find Wigglytuff and Scyther. Not, I mean, they're out there, but it's just like, do you want to get them cheap or not? So yeah, some really cool pickups there into the sealed collection I'm soaked about. Now let's go into this eBay um, uh, hunting I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, the, I'm going to do searches, and I'm just going to scroll through them and see what we can find. Let's just jump straight into it. Alright guys, let's get into it. Here we are. eBay, Pokemon. Let's do it. Let's see what we can find. We're going to look for deals. So first of all, just really, it may seem obvious, but I am on Pokemon Australia. Oh, sorry, Pokemon Australia, eBay Australia, Pokemon Australia to me. So all prices are in AUD. So do keep that in mind, there is a bit of conversion to USD if you're from America, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So let's start off, um, easy way to look for deals, you search for Pokemon, we're in all categories, and we go to newly listed. Now the reason why newly listed, newly listed is because they're things that have just come up, and their chances to maybe get a deal while someone doesn't maybe know the price, or they listed something cheap. So I'm just going to scroll through look for anything of interest. Um, I guess one thing to note is that, you know, with, you know, the way Pokemon is, there is a lot of, you know, uncommon and common. Wow, holy crap. Charizard PSA 5. <laughs> I'm talking about, like, commons and uncommons, and then the holy grail comes up. Okay, Charizard PSA 5, first edition, $3,500. Uh, let's check it out. Um, bit off-center. Bit off center. It's not too much, too bad. I mean, obviously, just a bit too much here, uh, but not too bad. Pretty nice. Back is oh yeah, a bit of whitening. To be honest, it's probably not the worst five. I mean, there's some scratches, but like if you put that in your collection, you'd, you'd be pretty happy because you've got a reasonable back and uh, you know a pretty decent front. So that's not too bad. Three and a half thousand. 
is this the kind of card I'd like to buy myself? The answer is yes. Um, is it the kind of card I'm going to buy right now? No. Uh, me and my wife were saving towards a house deposit, hopefully this year even, because um, you know everything's a bit up in there at the moment. Prices might go down, but that is a beautiful card. Let's keep going. Look, we're looking for deals. Um, see what we can find. Nothing too crazy coming up. There's a Nintendo promo. For some reason, I thought that was a gold star for a second. Uh, Sabrina's Alkazam. Japanese. Not a big fan of the foreign. The only foreign I'd actually maybe look at would be like um, like the like the, the European first editions. They're not too bad. Um, there's a Pokédex. Nothing too crazy coming up. Just scrolling pretty quick. Just check it out. I'm pretty happy with that. Nothing. Oh, no Charizard Evolutions. All right. So nothing in Pokemon. Let's try um, Pokemon Watsi. That's always another good one. Um, go through. I have a few in my head I go through. So, yeah, in terms of what we're looking for today, probably more so PSA cards or booster packs. Now, the reason for that is, is as I've said in my other video, with about PSA and coronavirus, there's all sorts of issues with PSA. And it's much better, in my opinion, right now, just to buy PSA slabs or boosters. Obviously, booster boxes too, but they're a bit expensive. Just to give you an idea what I'm talking about, right here in this little part here, that is all of my cards right now, which are like anywhere from 8, 9 to 10. And these are cards I could send to PSA, but like I'm not, because, um, you know, I just can't kind of be bothered with the whole experience. I mean, there's a lot of cards here. You know, there's a lot of base, base two, first, some first editions, promos, all sorts of cards in here. So, you know, they're the kind of cards I wouldn't mind sending to PSA, but I'm not in, in no rush because um, PSA being PSA. And as of this morning, PSA has now like opened at like 20% capacity or something. And I was like, hmm, you know, what's the point? And they're not accepting bulk. So, you know, PSA at the best of times, you know, could hardly process. So 20% is a joke. Anyway, let's get back into it. What's it? Um, some promos. It's a feral gator. Not bad, but unlimited, so not really that interesting. Looking again. Some promos. Some base two. Don't mind base two. I've actually looked at that wiggly tough already. Um, and it's all scratched up. There's actually a nice cut. This is actually pretty good. He's a um, Team Rocket First Edition box. Price is way too high. $12,500. Okay, you expect a mint box. Um, no, that box is not me. It's got it all scratched up and this label's all scratched. And look at this guy's hand, he's all anyway. And it's all it's not even straight, not crisp, not interesting, terrible. That's the kind of person who's put up something just to get like attention, which is fine, but no uh, genuine interest in buying. Okay, Pinsar first edition, we'll just check it out. Well, it's always worth checking out the first edition holos. I know I've said, you know, I'm not buying them because I can't grade them, but you never know. Like, that one's no good, obviously, but you never know if you don't look. So it's worth just checking it out. Just scrolling through. Um, wow, that's a big listing. Base set jungle fossil rocket base set 2 sealed 1999 Pokemon. To be perfectly honest, this is actually, uh, if it was first edition packs, I'd be interested. Two V per hour. What you see is what you get. That's what he's written. That's actually... So what's he, what, 1900 uh, I don't... Yeah, it's probably, it's probably not the right price. But, I mean, that's the first listing I've looked at, apart from the Charizard, that I'm actually interested in. Um, to me, I would rather pay more and have those Rocket, Fossil, and Jungle Packs be first edition. If that was the case, uh, that would be tempting. Because you've got a full artwork set of Rocket... You got a full artwork set of fossil and jungle, but the problem is unlimited. Like you know, I mean, the, the truth is, unlimited has potential, but it's just it's just not my thing. Like I'm just not interested in unlimited. There's too many, and I also I'm not a massive fan of these long crimp packs either. The base set too is pretty nice, um, and the random Blastoise booster. But yeah, it, it well, I would pay more than what he's asking for, but it would need to be first edition to really get me interested. Um, just going through, there's a base set to Cider Deck. I've never really been interested in the Cider Decks, and my reasoning is that I don't think they're very interesting. Like, they're cool, but, like, the potential to go up, there's just so many of them. Like, I just don't think it's interesting. It's not my thing. You can't grade them. You can't do much with That's the thing. It's like, boosters you can grade. You can, everyone knows what a booster is, you know. Um, but, um, you know, theme decks, like, or whatever. You can't do anything with... Tyranitar, Neo Discovery, uh, 
I'm not going to go into that. I don't think it's going to be worth it. Dark Charizard. I have clicked into this one before, but I will look again. Dark Charizard. Oh, man. This has got a problem in straight away that's got a crease and a crease and probably scratches and all sorts. But Dark Charizard Hollow First Edition is just lovely. That is a nice card. Any, I mean, I wouldn't buy that one, but that is just a nice card, and that does ne that never goes out of fashion. Like, if you don't own one, just try and get one now while it's still somewhat cheap. The tens aren't cheap anymore, obviously, but just such a nice card. Okay, so nothing too interesting. Um, oh, it's like every time I say nothing too interesting, literally something interesting comes up. Pokemon Era slash Misprint Variant Watsy. 4,000? Seems like a lot. So he's got, okay, Dark Persian, no HP. That's actually kind of a nice card. Pikachu First Edition, Black Star 9. A Blastoise Authentic. And a War Turtle Evolution Box Error Authentic. If that Blastoise was the red dot error, or maybe like a PSA 10, ah, uh, even the, it's a, yeah, it's just not worth $4,000 for two Authentics and then two Nines, but I, I give it to the, um, that person. That is an interesting listing. I did see another one. Bulk lot, 20 Pokemon, all Watsy era, jungle fossil base. $65. That's actually not that much. Oh, this is one of these weird ones. Option A, option B. What's option A, option B mean? So um, option A is a holo, a non-holo commons and trainer. The option B is much the same, except you get some first edition commons. Commons, sorry. Oh, so you could get any card from there. Well, I'll tell you straight away, like, it's not worth your time. Like, yeah, there's some Charizards there, that's pretty nice, but the rest is just, nah, that's a waste of time. Think, look, why i got Charizard on the brain, let's ask, look, for, it's always worth, yeah. Charizard base set is always worth just, just a look, because Charizard base set is just so easy to sell. Um, so I would go to uh, New Listed, yep, so we got that Charizard we saw. Here we have one, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise, Shadowless, never played, 510. Anyway, if, uh, even though I was saying how like it's not worth it because like these cards are kind of hard to send to PSA, it's always worth checking out Charizard because Charizard's just like a really, it's like, a, imagine if it was like a stock on this stock exchange, you could just sell it easily and buy it and sell it. Like, there's always people wanting it. It's just a classic. Always worth checking out. It's kind of hard to see a lot from this picture. That light on the Charizard's really making it kind of hard to make any decision, but only the Blastoise is um, shadowless. The backs aren't too bad, but, you know, they're not perfect. There is whitening. Um, shadowless Blastoise is actually pretty nice. But, yeah, it's just not worth that much money, I don't think. I'd rather pay the like the PSA price of what it's exactly worth than stuff around trying to um, do that. It's too much for Black Base Set 2. Charizard PSA 7 near mint. I love it when they put up like PSA 7. So they've given it a grade and it's ungraded. Like, are you just guessing? Like, or did you copy it, that listing from somewhere else? Um, no, it's, they're all unlimited. So I'm not going to bother with that. Charizard Hollow, $300 good condition. Yeah, that's worth it. PSA Shell is complete. PSA 9. I'll, I'll check this out, and then we'll go on to those other tabs. So this is a Shadowless Complete PSA 9. How much did I want? $12,000. That's, that's, that's not small pocket change. I mean, to be honest, they look really nice, you know, particularly when you see them all together like that. But it's just not worth that $12,000. I'd rather, you know, for $12,000, I'd rather have, like, a Blastoise PSA 10 First Edition. You know, I don't, I like the nines and the shadowless and I have collected some myself and I am collecting them, but like, it's just too much money for shadowless, like, and PSA 9. So we're going to just go into a couple of other windows I opened briefly, just to double check before we do a new search. So we got, now this one is the PSA 7 Charizard and, no, terrible back, that's not PSA 7, not anymore. And this is a hollow Charizard, good condition, and it's definitely not and they want $300 and there's no picture of the back. Now, when there's no picture of the back, honestly, if you really want the card, you message the, the lady or the man and you hope to get a picture of the back, but if they don't give you the picture of the back, just don't bother. Um, it's not worth it. You know, they're hiding something. Now, this has been one of my um, 
most popular searches and where I found most of my cards which I've graded. And I just write Pokemon first. And what I need to also do is when I search this, is I search it and I need to make sure I'm in all. For some reason it's defaulted back to individual cards, which is a bit of a worry, but anyway. Um, and you can see there is some more listings now. Um, so here we go, po Pokemon first. This is where I found most of my cards. Just those two words, they normally capture most of the first editions and um, yeah. So here we go. There's a rare, I'm gonna open this rare finder just for interest. Um, there's a first edition, Hollow Blains. Okay, some of these are interesting. So the item finder is, I believe, a rare. So they are $74. Uh, you can see this part here, this part here, it's a nine. It's not worth the stuffing around. If you're gonna buy an ungraded card, you might as well be just searching. And I, 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 and this has been my logic. You, unless it's a, unless you know you're fairly confident it's ten, it's just not worth the time. By the time you pay for the card, I mean because of the way cards are nowadays with Pokemon, they're not super cheap. Um, so there's no like it, like not back in like a few years ago you can make money you know all the time but now the, the cards aren't cheap so you have to and then you have to pay PSA you have to pay for you know shipping and anyway enough for me there's Blaine nice card actually he's got a little scratch here it looks like but he's a nice card um, I actually have that in a ten and I tell you what gym challenge whoa that's gone up a bit fossil jungle oh they're all just going up they're really good cards Mrs Gold Duck yeah. Now these cards are worth looking at because some of these cards are quite good. That Typhlosion is actually quite interesting because that has recently been um, very heavily talked about. I'll get to that in a minute. Gold Duck is always worth checking out because it's an insanely hard grade. And this is probably the perfect candidate why. Just look at this scratching. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was its position in like the binders or something. But these cards are scratched up. If you ever like... It's a nice card. I mean, it's not exceptional. It's just a nice card, but it's exceptionally hard to get in 10. So I'm interested in that. Let's talk about Typhlosion a bit. Typhlosion's had a bit of a talk on E4, SM Pratt, you know, those um, areas, because people are getting mad that it's getting really expensive. Now, the reason why it's expensive is because, um, you know, there's, re there's a certain um, supply out there, but it is an insane hard grade. There are so many things on this card working against it. So it just, the chance of getting a 10, like, it's really just luck, almost, to a certain degree. Um, so this person says, you know, they want $200, um, and here it is. Now, keep in mind, with all the crazy stuff that's been going with Typhlosion, a PSA 9, I believe it's worth about $1,000 USD, so it's a very expensive card. So if this was a 9 condition, I would buy it. Let's have a closer look. Okay, so first of all, you can see what the scratch is. We got scratch, 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 scratches everywhere. So it's quite a nice card actually. Um, it's quite like in terms of the graphics, but scratched up, scratched up, white, white and white and yeah, no good. But worth checking out. You know, if that was a nine, I would have bought it um, just because of that particular card. Uh, going through, so we got first edition basic cards, all great condition, all near mint. There's only like. 12 cards, that's not interesting. There's a Shadowless Charizard, but let's look at something that's actually a bit more realistic to actually buy. Um, Shadowless Charizard PSA 6, I'm watching that, that's actually quite nice. Um, the person, again, has decided it's a PSA 6. Oh no, they've written possible PSA 6, $4,000, uh, to give do a quick assessment for you guys. So it's a little bit off center on the bottom. Um, and there's a bit of scratches and whitening. Oh yeah, that see that type of scratch there, that's really gonna hurt it because that's really obvious. You, you'll find with the scratches, if you get scratches in certain lightning, um, obviously that'll detriment the card, but if there's scratches like this one here, I guarantee you that that scratch, like it doesn't matter where which angle you put your card, that scratch is gonna come up. And PSA is way harsher on those scratches because they're actually more significantly more severe. So yeah, that I personally think that would get like a five, maybe even a four. Not really worth it. Um, still going through. I mean, you know, these video. I thought these videos would be fun. As I said, I got the idea from um, ZNG Emporium. Um, and look, honestly, you will find if you've checked out his videos that there's, he doesn't buy deals that often. And it's not because he doesn't want it. He doesn't love Pokemon. And he doesn't find cards. It's just. To find like an actual deal is like really time consuming. 
um, and doesn't happen very often. So yeah, just going through. I think I'll just about finish up on the first Pokemon first. Um, I am watching that Magneton. I personally think this isn't a bad price. Um, I may buy this Magneton. Uh, hang on a minute. Oh uh, no, so this is the kind of thing you've got to watch out for. I kind of, I don't know what it was, if it was a person's listing or something, but I assume this was a hollow. But you can see here, there's number 26. Now this is a 20, 26 rare, un, non-hollow, um, which is not worth much at all. So I'm gonna unwatch that now. What's unwatch? My brain isn't thinking. Whatever, I'll figure it out later. I think it's around here. Tick that. I'm now. I'm not watching it, uh, and I'm not watching that because that confused me. Also, um, blah 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 blah. Nothing else too crazy. Okay, <laughs> I've got to stop saying nothing else too crazy because every time I say that, I see something I want. But I'm just going to finish up here and close these. These non hollows, uh, far fetched. Not really worth it. Zoom rule piece A seven. It's not really worth it, is it? Uh, I will go into. I'll just go into that Moltres we scrolled past. Just check it out. So it's two eighty for two eighty. You'd want very clean, and this one is got some whitening, so it's not worth it. This one's an interesting one. This Raichu, um, peak first edition PSA nine Raichu, strong nine, possible regrade ten. Now look, that's a very biased and subjective statement. You know, you you can't say that. I mean. We just don't know that. I mean, right shoot is a hard, hard, hard to grade. The only thing I would say to agree with this person is that this person has graded his right or her right shoe in the four four cert range. So that was when they were being particularly harsh. So there is a chance for a regrade. Um, so he's just going through the card and showing it off. Condition looks, you know, there's a bit of dust in the card. So that's a bit difficult. Um, nothing too crazy. Like that would be the kind of thing where you, you you would really be taking a gamble to um purchase that. So I don't think it's worth it. So nothing too crazy in the Pokemon first. Let's go now to Pokemon Boosters and see what we can find. Uh, uh, Chinese EX Legend Maker. No, that's not interesting. Um, PSA 10 Charizard, that's kind of cool. I mean, uh, it's, a, it's a fair bit of money. That's from the States. Let's try something different. Let's try Pokemon Booster. Like booster first. I want I want to zone in on like on my niche. I don't want to um, um, go generic. Now we're going to go all. Now I want to talk about a few things here. So first of all, there's that box. Too expensive. There's the Lapras. Lapras beautiful. I did, I was thinking about buying this. This is just a first edition shot. And let me know what in the comments below what you guys think of this or have you done it yourself. It's not much, it's like 29 bucks. Basically, it's hardly anything. So it's just a first edition shadowless pack that's empty. Um, it's in, in you know reasonably good condition on the front. I was like, just thinking maybe buying a small frame and putting in the, like the Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard, like the first edition packs kind of like kind of like staple or like you know just carefully put them into their lineup perfectly and then put it like on the wall. I hope you like my Pokemon um, picture as well. Here. This is quite cool. And I thought, oh, maybe that might be a cool little niche little thing. But I was like, oh, it's, it's, it's cool. But, like, it's not it's, it's not crazy. Like, it doesn't, like, I think the base set um, wrappers that are uncut, I like them because they're, like, really clean and straight. But I thought what, this, that idea was a little bit tacky. So I probably won't do that. But do you think I should? I mean, what do you guys reckon? I mean, this same person's got, you know, Neo Genesis first edition packs too. I mean... No offense to Neo Genesis, but the packs are not interesting. Like they're interesting, but they're not like worth buying. Um, uh, this is one I do want to buy um, because it's got a lot of things that are on my current radar. We've got a complete first edition fossil set and a complete first edition jungle set. Now that is beautiful. I'm starting to get a few jungle first edition boosters, um, so I don't mind picking up more. I also definitely need another Aerodactyl because my Aerodactyl can pack, it's not very good. And I've only got one. Um, and then the jungles goes without saying, you know, jungles, beautiful. Look at that green. I love that green. It's just so vibrant. Like, you know, these packs are 20 years old. And look at, when you see the pack, or even if you see it in person, it's like, it's just beautiful. Um, so that's a really nice set. So he's saying 1350. So, um, 
what is that? That's like $200, $230, $225 a pack or something. So, a bit expensive really, isn't it? I mean, I'd, I'd love it, but it's a bit expensive. And he's just written used. Like, if he, to be honest, like to, to, to warrant that price, he, would re he or she should really um, weigh the packs. And if there was a heavy pack, you know, maybe a heavy fossil, maybe like say a heavy Lapras and a heavy Wigglytuff, he could disclose that. So then you're actually kind of getting a fair distribution of packs. And then that would warrant that price. But for 225 or whatever a pack, and look, when you're buying packs like this, just assume they're unweighed. Um, it's not really worth it. It's just, it's a bit expensive. It's not really worth it. This person here, um, I've bought packs from them. I've bought three packs from them. Not at that price, I've bought much lower. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they're weighed, but I don't really care. But it was good. Now, this one's actually one I was thinking of buying. So let's talk about this one. This is Team Rocket. Heavy first edition Team Rocket. Um, so it is the Gyarados pack, and it's 21 grams, 21.02. No, that was a better one. That was one that was a bit heavier. I think it was this one. Um, yeah, I like this one. So it's once 350 heavy. So it's 21.12 grams, so it's a little bit heavy than the other one. Um, and it's first edition, it's a heavy pack. Um, and I've already messaged the person, they said, look, well, I'll take 325. I'm just considering it. Look, it's hard. I mean, there's a couple of reasons why I wouldn't want to buy it. First of, all, first of all, I don't have that particular artwork set, so that is, you know, a bit enticing. Um, yeah, it's not heavy wrong, I just realised. That's not very good. Um, you know, what's the potential for, for Team Rocket um, first edition heavy packs? Look, the potential is good, but you will find that the problem with the heavy packs in Team Rocket is um, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of Team Rocket. There's a lot of booster boxes, um, you know, for sale um, and packs for sale. I mean, like, obviously the Dark Charizard is absolutely mint. Like, that is a sick pickup. But, like... There's a lot of Team Rocket, like Team Rocket um, Hollows, which are not exciting. Like you've got like what? What have you got? You've got, um, you know, like your Here Comes Team Rocket and Team Rocket Sneak Attack, and there's a lot of just average Hollows. So really, apart from like maybe Dark Charizard, Dark Blastoise, and Dark Magneton, you know, there's the money makers are a bit hit, hit and miss. Um, so consider, I'm considering it, but I'm not like rushing out um, to buy that one. Uh, do, 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 do. There's a nice pack. Charizard first edition booster pack unweighed. Um, it's nice that it's Charizard actually. Don't see you normally see Venusaur or Blastoise. To actually see the Charizard is quite nice. In terms of condition, you know, it looks okay. It's some kind of weird damage here. I don't know about that. It's a bit unusual to me. Um, it's just not worth it though. Like that person should really disclose the weight. Um, and then you know go from there, um, they just say unweighed, but you know, there's no way we could know that. If anything, I'll be honest with this kind of YouTube video, guys, I've kind of felt like, you know, I should come into this video with a bit more cash up kind of, you know, money to make a big purchase. I haven't really seen anything, um, too crazy. Um, I have been interested in this, these types of little Japanese packs only cause they kind of stand out. They've got cool artwork. So this is actually a Japanese Sky Ridge pack. Um, I wouldn't, I don't think I'll buy it, um, but just look at that artwork. Look, look at that ho-ho, like, that is a sick artwork. I mean, like, it's really vibrant, and the, the, the um, colours are fantastic. But, you know, one day that could go up in value, but not really for me. There's a Lonely Lapras. Um, if it was Aerodactyl, I'd probably buy it, but no thank you. Um, coming down, we got a Misty's Hero, 350. That's a rip-off. And I, got, I think that's most of my packs. I'm starting to go into the USA um, auctions. Let's just have a look at this one. The Ultimate Complete First Edition Collection. 1.5 million. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Pokemon Revolution. Man, if I won the lottery, I don't think I would even buy this. I think it would be more fun to buy these boxes individually, but it's so sick to see them all together. Like, you got that face set first edition. That's amazing. They're, you know, they're great, 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 great. That Sky Ridge, oh. Aquapolis, even. Legendary Collection. Neo Destiny. Those boxes, like, holy crap. I think, it's, is there a Deoxy? Oh, it Deoxy's here. Oh. Team Rocket Returns. Oh. I should have this as, like, my computer wallpaper for motivation. Like, 
There are some seriously rare boxes in there. But um, anyway, last one. We're just going to do something on a whim. What are we going to do? We're just going to go Pokemon. I'll do Pokemon. This is always interesting, just to see if anything it's been misspelled. Now, what you do, what you do is it says, "Do you mean Pokemon?" And you click. You don't click that. You just search for what Pokemon. There's only 24 results, but someone might have put something here accidentally. Um, the sleeves. Uh, bah, 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 bah. One thing I'll do quickly is I'm just going to type Pokemon Binder. Mainly because I like to check for binders um, just to see what's out there. And sometimes there's cards in the binder. Most of the time, it's just the modern stuff. So again, we'll make sure on all. And we'll see what we got. So Pokemon Binder, 480 results. That's a lot. I'm not going to get through them all. There's a gen that's from the United Kingdom. I'm just going to make sure I'm only in Australia. I don't really want to look to shop internationally at the moment. Not, I'm just having fun looking around. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Nothing too crazy. NBA. Hmm. Um, this would be the kind of pack which would be cool. My wife has one of these, but it's empty. Um, it's probably not really worth $115 shipped. It's a bit expensive, actually. Um, Alrighty, nothing too much crazy. Let's just do something different now. So I tell you right now, we're not going to find a deal today. But let's go through Pikmin PSA 10 and go through some sold listings. Why are we going to do that? Well, you know what? I think it's interesting. I want to talk about it. I want to see what's going on in Pokemon, um, the Pokemon world. I'm only in Australia also, so just keep that in mind. Um, let's search uh, highest first. This will be interesting. Now, uh, this one bugs me. So this, this PSA, uh, so this Black Label 10, that can't be right. That seems crazy. $20,000, it's not worth it. Do not buy Black Label new, newer cards. Like, just don't. They're not worth it. They're just, there's too many of them. It's too easy to get a 10 in Black Label. Um, first edition, uh, PSA 10 Shattered Ice. Blastoise, beautiful. Beautiful. Thick set, mm. beautiful card. For two Venusaurs. Sold quite close apart, 7th of Feb and 8th of Feb. Difference um, in price may just be the condition. That Lapras is a shield, a shield bitter, do not, just ignore that, that's not real. Um, Shadow, uh, Charizard Unlimited 10, that's interesting. If you, this this, shall, this, <laughs> this freaking Lapras has been shield bitted so much. So it sold for almost $5,000. And then it sold also for the same certain number, sold for 4000 3,600, 3,600. I think whoever's bidding on that is just like mad and they're just pushing up the price for no reason. There's a Dragonite, that's beautiful, um, but that could have been shield bitted. Legendary Collection Dark Dragonite, that's actually pretty cool, mainly because that does not come up often. Um, Pop 15, that's, uh, can't be bothered. Dark Charizard, beautiful. Mewtwo Gold Star, another Dark Charizard. SP on EX, to be honest, I do not know why that is, would have gone for so much. Do you guys know much about this card? Because I personally do not know why that is worth so much. It even looks like it's like got lines on it, but maybe it's just the case or something. But 2000 that seems ridiculous. I do not understand EX at all. Shining Celebi, PSA 10 First Edition 1800, that's gone up a lot. That must be a super clean card, or someone's really overpaid. PSA 10... Pinsa, oh yeah, but it's best offer. But still, really, junk was going insane. That is all. That's a big price. That's a really good. And there's no picture of the back. That's around. Yeah, I don't like that. The the thing with jungle though is like, you know what jungle always reminds me of? Like it reminds me of the, when you're in Game Boy and you're in the Safari. And like those are just classic Pokemon. And jungle's hard to grade. Um, you know, you got whitening and lines, just like everything else, but they're might be fairly hard to grade. Um, the big boys are anyway, like the Snorlax and stuff. Nothing else too crazy. Um, gee, that, that, um, Articuno is a beautiful card. Let's, let's end on, let's end on a high note. Um, let's end on a nice card. Sky Ridge Articuno PSA 10. 1,200. Pretty good price. Um, yeah, beautiful artwork. That icy kind of style lovely card so yeah look thanks for tuning in guys um we didn't buy anything today but i do hope you enjoyed checking out the video it was a longer one but that is the nature of checking out cards like it takes time to check out cards and it was interesting just to go through some cards and 
talk about them. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Um, that really helps me out. Um, I'm trying to build my channel towards 500. My goal is to get 500 subscribers by the end of 2020. That would be sick. And yeah, t tell me what you thought about this video. I'm up for all feedback. Did you enjoy it? Um, any you know constructive feedback? Go for it. Have a great day. Ruthless Rain checking out. Cheers.